Hi, Devin from T Equipment here. Today we're going to talk about some firefighting cameras from FLIR. Now, you may be familiar with the FLIR K2. It's a great economical option that FLIR offers. Um, as you can see, it's very ruggedized and it's well within the price range for most fire departments. Now, in the past, a thermal imager for firefighting could have cost you, you know, over $10,000. Uh, with the K2, they recently had a price drop, but now it's down to $9.95. So this is, a, this is a really cool device. It's been drop tested to two meters, and it is um, fully vibration and wear resistant. It just has your one single green button, so you can operate it with a gloved hand. Uh, there's an optional lanyard accessory, so you can clip it to your turnout gear. All in all, it's a, it's a very solid and well-built thermal imager. Has a 160 by 120 resolution with a less th better than 100 millikelvin sensitivity. And it has a few image modes, so you can use it uh, for firefighting, search and rescue, and it even has some limited thermography options if you want to use it for home inspections. Really, the downside to the K2 compared to those, those very expensive models is that this one is not NFPA rated. So you can't take it into a flashover simulator. It, you can take it into a, a fire situation, but it doesn't quite meet the requirements for that NFPA rating. So it can survive here, let me double check here, up to 131 degrees F indefinitely, and then there's time increments after that. 15 minutes up to 185, 10 minutes up to 302, and then even three minutes at 500 degrees. One other thing I don't necessarily love about it is that you need to plug it in to your computer to make any changes to the configuration. That's kind of a trade-off from having the simplified glove-friendly interface, but if you wanted to change the image mode, you need to plug it into your PC and download the free FLIR tool software. Now, FLIR just released a even less expensive uh, camera geared towards firefighting, and that's the K1. Now this one, as you can tell, is a little smaller, but it's still drop tested up to two meters. It's still completely ruggedized. You're not gonna hurt it unless you want to. And it has a full, full button array on here, so you can change some settings on camera. It has the same sensor as the K2, a 160 by 120 pixel array, sensitivity better than 100 millikelvins. I know that's just kind of number soup, but it's, what you, it's the minimum you would want for basic thermal imaging. There's better out there, but this camera is going to come in at 599 so at $9.95, $5.99. With that reduction, what you're going to lose is the temperature rating. You're not going to be able to take this into a hot zone at all. You really got to treat this like a normal piece of consumer electronics. And I, I believe the operating range is up to 115 degrees F, 113 F. So. This is designed to be used from the outside of the danger zone. Um, but for that price point, with the very good sensor, and it has all the same different image modes as the K2, but you can switch in between them on the camera for $5.99, it's something that you might want to consider. Um, so let's, let's take a look at some, some pictures and show you how, how this might look in the field. So here we have the K2 and our little flame demo. It's a propane torch, so it's not gonna get really hot enough to show any red like a real fire situation might, but you can clearly see it's registering the flame and giving you a good idea of what's happening. Uh, 
Uh, this is in the basic firefighting mode. As you can see, it's mostly grayscale. Uh, at temperatures around 300, it starts to show yellow. And then up in the thousands, that's going to be red. So you can really better direct your capabilities. It's the same thing on the K1. See, it's, it's really the same. The screen's a little smaller, so you lose a little bit of detail, I feel, but effectively similar. Now, about those buttons on camera for the K1, you can do things like turning on the light, or you can change your color palette. Or you can look at saved images. So with the trigger here, you can actually capture an image on the K1 to download later. That's going to give you the visual and the thermal image. And if you open that up in FLIR tools, you can perform some further analysis. Or if you just wanted it to share it. So here are two cameras side by side. See? Very much the same. I'll try and get it on the same spot, but it's a little challenging. So like I said, they have the same sensor, but the K2 has got twice the display. So you do get a little more, more detail off the K2. All right, so that was the FLIR K2 and K1. Hopefully I illustrated a few important things that you had questions about. Um, again, the K2, great price, camera on every truck. You can take it into the fire. K1, even more affordable and is really a great complement to any firefighter's arsenal. My name is Devin, thermographer here at T-Equipment, and if you have any questions, please give us a call.